Hello everyone, this is voice and audition coach Jessica Neighbor. How are you guys? Well, I wanted to go over a really interesting topic today about how to choose songs for yourself that really, really feel like they're the best fit. Um, we're going to go over this um, for both audition songs and for performance songs, if you're doing like a recital or a show with your own band. Um, the, same, the same guidelines uh, apply to, to all of these different kinds of performances. Um, so I'm going to walk you through three things to really help you in your song selection. So the first thing is to write down a short list of songs that you're considering for this show or for this audition. I do this with my singers when they are gonna perform in a vocal recital with me or if they're gonna go out for an audition or even play with their band. Um, they're gonna write down these songs um, and if they have their um, songbook, they're gonna bring it in and look through their, their entire repertoire of songs to choose from. Once you have your short list, you're going to want to to start to really think, okay, of this short list of songs, which is really gonna be the zinger? And this is how we're gonna figure this out. The first thing you're gonna ask yourself is, how much is this song a great fit for my voice? Now this is a tricky question sometimes because most singers are huge, music fanatics and we love listening to all kinds of music. I firmly believe what Louis Armstrong said, which was um, there's two kinds of music, good and bad. So, you know, right there, we can sometimes just feel flooded and overwhelmed with, I, I don't know how to choose. I love all these songs. I don't know. So what you want to do is be a little more objective and ask yourself, even though I love all of these songs, which one really, 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 really complements my voice? Which one sounds like a better fit for me? Um, some of that is gonna do with the vocal range of the song. Some of that is gonna do with the vocal styling of the song. And you're gonna need to objectively really kind of rate each song as it matches up with your voice. A good way to do this is to record your songs and to listen back and to kind of objectively sit back and think, ah, that's a good fit, or ah, maybe that's not such a good fit. If you're feeling like you're stuck and, and you're hitting a wall with this, have someone else listen. Have a your voice coach or have someone who you really trust who understands music give you their honest feedback about this short list of songs. Again, we don't wanna give them too many options. We wanna give them you know three to five songs that we're thinking about. Um, the other part is to um, think about, um, or the second question rather, is to ask yourself which of these songs is appropriate for this show, right? So that's really, really crucial for us. I, that's immediately with a short list going to start to rule out a few of these. Um, if you're going out for an audition, you want to ask yourself what kind of musical genre this audition is. Is it Les Mis? We want to be looking for big dramatic ballads. Is it Hairspray? We want to be looking for kind of 50s rock and soul and Motown. Um, or is it new avant-garde theater? That's going to really inform our song selection. Um, the other thing that for auditions specifically you're going to want to think about is can the accompanist, the piano player who's playing this with you, uh, play this tune? Remember, we want to avoid Sondheim and we want to avoid... Um, music uh, scores that are overly complicated that our um, pianist is going to struggle with to play. Um, so you want to really be clear on the, the sheet music that you're selecting so that they can actually accompany you and support you the way you know they want to. Um, the final question, and I think this is really the fun one, but also sometimes the most personal, is how much heart do you have for each of these songs? How much are you really lit up by these songs when you sing them? So the way I like to do this, again, with my singers, is I'll have them sing me a little selection of each song. I don't tell them to go memorize all of them. Um, that's crazy. But to know it well enough that you could sing like, you know, 32 bars, like a verse and a chorus, you're gonna sing it, and then you're gonna ask yourself on a scale of one to 10, how lit up do you feel when you sing this song? How excited and connected do you feel to this? And what I find very interesting is usually when they're singing it to me and I ask them to give me a number from one to 10, 10 being the most you know, lit up they feel, 
their number usually is the same number that I'm thinking. If they say, you know, that actually just felt kind of like a seven, I'll say, that's funny. That's, that's, that's the way I heard it. If they say, oh my gosh, that is a, a 10, maybe an 11, that's usually what I'm feeling too. And if I'm not feeling it, it's usually because of one of those other criteria that I already talked about. It might be that the, the range is not right or the musical genre is not right. So again, these are all of these like small steps that are going to really help inform why we're picking the songs that really, really flatter us and really complement our voices. Um, just good things to think about. And if you are actually going out on an audition or if you're really selecting some songs for a vocal show right now, um, please feel free to ask me your questions. I love, love, love giving my, my feedback about this because I've been singing for such a long time and, and I find this to be one of the most challenging but really fun things to start to figure out um, the songs that really fit our voices. Okay, you guys, hope this helps. Happy singing. Talk to you later. Bye.